teachable tutorial how to create an online course fast. Hi guys, today I will show you the easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create an online course fast in Teachable. So without wasting your time, let's dive in. So first you need to sign up and you can sign up for a free trial using the link in the description below. Here I already log into the account and the first thing that you need to do is to create your school name. So let me add here like for example, Keith Work Academy, then click on create new school. Then you'll be redirected to this page to share a little bit about yourself. So just answer these following questions here. Let me just answer it. Yes, I work on my business part-time. Then primary identity, let me select coach or tutor. The topic relevant to your business, let me select here software and technology. Category for business stage, let me choose 0 to 5k and well. And next, are you already teaching online course? Let's say I'm just getting started, but it's up to you guys. If you have experience on teaching, then you can select different option. And lastly, the size of your audience, let me say 1 to 100, but it depends on you. And once done, just click next. And after that, here's your teachable school dashboard. Here on your left sidebar, you have different tabs. This is your dashboard. It's where you can check the overview performance of your online course. You have your user tabs where you can check the students taking your courses. Your site for you to check and set up the information and design of your online course website. This is like a landing page setup for your online course. Then your sales for you to see how many students purchase your online course. Emails where you can see the list of emails from your students and you can also send them emails as well. And lastly, your settings over here. Now to add your course, you just need to go here under your product. You have your course tab. Just click on it and here we can start creating our own course. So up here on your right side, click on the new course. And here we just need to name our online course. Let's say how to create online course for beginners. And here just select an author. And in my account, it's just me. And after that, just click continue. And here's your online course has been created. So let me just click here. So now here's your curriculum where you can add all your online course contents. And here you can simply add different types of contents like video contents, text, PDF, or codes. And you can also break down your online courses to different sections. For example, here let's rename our first section like introduction. Here we can give a short introduction what to expect, what to learn from our online course. Then let's add our new lecture. This will be the short module of your online course. So here you can add video lecture, add file, text, quiz if you like, codes. You can also add upsells here if you like to. So for this video, let me go ahead and add our video. I will click here for us to upload the video file. So let me just upload the file from my computer. And then let's just wait for the upload to finish. It may take some time, depends on the size of your video file. So here our video has been uploaded successfully. And over here you can enable the comments for your students to add some comments about your online course. You can also enable this one for your students to answer or interact with your online course if you're asking some information or questions from your video. And you can also rename the first lecture here. Just click the pen icon. And let's say this is our course 101 introduction. Then click save. So here you can add more files like you can add more videos, add files, text, depends on your online course. And you can also preview your course here or you can publish it right away. Let me first check the preview. And here's our online course video, and it may take some time to play. And here your students can leave some comments as well. So let me just close it, and let's publish this lecture. And let's go back to our curriculum, and here you can add more lecture inside your introduction section. 
and you can also add more section for example the second section let's rename it as designing your online course then let's save it and here you can add new lecture so you can name the lecture and save it and then let's edit the lecture you can add again video here text or whatsoever and here you can check also the preview and you will see in your left side you have now the two sections here the first module and the second module so just ignore the video since the video i uploaded was from online and it's not mine so i guess that's the reason it was not displayed here so let me just close this and let's go back to curriculum here let's jump to information and here you can add your course image this will be like your course thumbnail and you have the recommended format size over here this will be for the web but you can also set up thumbnails for your ios or mobile so let me just add some thumbnail image here very quickly and down here you can also add more details about your online course you can also add subtitle which is optional then you can select categories let me add new and here you can also choose the authors if you have different authors you can also set up course compliance like you require your students to first watch the first video to proceed to second video something like that then set up the default pages like the post purchase page you can specify here where a student should be taken after buying this course like you can redirect them to thank you page enrolled other course page or other custom url page so once done just click save it's located here at the top right corner then let's set up your pages so you have three different pages for your online course the sales page this is where you can um this is where your students see the online course information, the price, the details of your course. Then you also have your checkout page for the billing. And lastly, the thank you page once the payment has been processed. You can easily set up the page here. Just click edit and you'll be redirected to this page editor. And here you can edit your sales page. For example, for the sales page for the banner, just click banner. And then you can change the image here. You can upload your own image from your computer and once done you can also change the text over here like the heading text let's change it to online course then you can also change the font color you also have your button here you can change the button action from go to url and can add different url here or you can also change to go to checkout page you can also change the button text here for example enroll now then you also have your design settings here you can change the background color opacity of the image text color alignment button and padding so let's go back to our sales page and here and here as you can see you have different blocks here that by default added here in your page but if you like to delete it you can click on the three dots and here you have options to rename duplicate hide or delete the block so let's just delete it and here you can easily organize your blocks by simply dragging them just click this and as you can see the text block has been moved down here and you also have your course curriculum here you can also add or set up the pricing so click pricing and over here to add the pricing plans first let's set up a price so click add pricing and you have different option first is the free you can allow your students to access your course for free of charge in return they need to sign up and provide their email this is good if you want to get your students information and from here you can also set up limited product access duration like you will give free access until the date until specific date or after one day then you also have the one-time payment student can purchase your online course one time then you can also have your payment plan students will pay a set amount of monthly fees for indefinite full access to your product this is good if you always create different courses every week also here you can have two payments per month if you like 
And lastly, you have the subscription. It's recurring payment. Students will have access to your product as long as they continue to pay their fee. For today's tutorial, I will select the one-time payment. And here, let's price it $20. And I will add the course name here. And then the subtitle. And then the details. And once done, just click Add Pricing Plan. So now let's go back to our pages and set up our pricing. So let's add the pricing plan we just set up. And here it is. So let's just check the preview. And here is our sales page. And here we can check the online course details and also the pricing plan. And your student can choose the plan here and click Enroll Now. And they will be redirected to the checkout page to provide the billing information. So here you have your school name, your thumbnail, and then the billing form and the buy now button for your future students. So going back to pages, let's click update to save the changes. And once you're ready to launch your online course, then you just need to upgrade your plan. So going down here, click this lightning button. You will see the pricing plan of Teachable. The cheapest one is the basic plan for $39 per month which is fine for beginners. However, it have 5% transaction fee. The next plan is professional for $119 per month and it has 0% transaction fee. And you can also do affiliate marketing. And the third plan is the basic plan for $200.99 per month. So once you selected a plan, then you can launch your online course in Teachable. If you want to sign up for free and try the software, you may do so by clicking the link in the description below to try Teachable for free. So I guess that's all for today's video. I hope you learned something and thank you so much for watching.